Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the week and the weekend ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer Air in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Uh, this is your forecast from Monday the 9th of September and it's going to be an unsettled week. Pretty windy, we've got some showers. There will be weather windows around and I kind of think the period going through Wednesday through to Friday is for most of us one of the best periods that we'll find some weather windows in there generally and then the, the weekend looks okay in southern areas although that forecast could change so do keep a very careful eye on that but generally it's not too bad a week now big news before we get on to the forecast is that i have announced my next aviation weather school online course this is the part one course it's going to be held on the wednesday evenings of the 18th and the 25th of september um, so we're going to be kicking off in just over a week's time between 6 30 pm and 9 pm this is your chance to be able to forecast better yourself spot weather windows five days in advance and just get more enjoyment from your flying you don't need any prior knowledge you will be shown exactly uh, what you need to be able to make those forecasts yourself. And I've had everybody on, on this course from pre-PPLs through to commercial pilots, and they've all learned much from it. You can go and see the reviews at weatherschool.co.uk. Now, I only announced this course on Friday. I've now only got two places left. So if you want to get on it and you want to find out more information, go to weatherschool.co.uk, go to aviation, click on the Aviation Weather School Live Online course. You can find all the details you need down there and you can book the course there as well. Just click on the link on the right hand side here and uh, you can pay straight away for the course and it'll be absolutely super to see you there. And um, trust me, it's money well spent. Go and have a look at the reviews um, if you don't believe me. And it's great fun as well. I'll show you what you really need to know about weather. Okay, and, and demystify it for you because let's face it, for many pilots, and I see this at my flying school, it's just a mysterious subject and trust me it's not that hard it's made very difficult but when you're shown it properly and you're shown the building blocks of it actually it's pretty easy to be forecasting yourself for your flights anyway i've waited on long enough go and have a look at weatherschool.co.uk this is the forecast then for monday ridge of high pressure that's that end shape in the isopars there we talk about that at weather school as well and um, that's bringing fair weather actually for most of today increasing cloud across northwestern ireland and western scotland some drizzle here later but for most of us it looks as if it should be a pretty decent afternoon one of the better afternoons of the week actually um by tomorrow by tuesday it it's just changed low pressure off the east of scotland a west to northwesterly flow strong west to northwesterly flow gusting 50 knots for northern and western parts of scotland it's breezy further south probably gusting up at about 30 knots cold front moving southwards through the afternoon across central uh, areas of england wales and ireland along this line of this front probably non-vfr as the front moves through bringing a period of quite showery rain 2000 for bases tops could be 15 to 20,000 feet some q is along that as well so just be aware of it and it clears southwards through the course of the evening heavy showers into northern and western parts of scotland non-vfr here 2000 foot bases 25,000 foot tops and acunims i think elsewhere what i'm gonna have to say is it's marginal because of the strength of the wind one or two showers around typical bases 3000 feet tops about 15,000 feet but in all honesty i think it's local flying probably wednesday stays breezy as well again that northwesterly flow so bringing polar maritime air and it brings us showers to northern and western scotland northwest england down through uh, into the midlands and through much of wales and across much of northern and western ireland here we do have to say marginal conditions because of those showers always worst always most frequent in the northwest bases two to uh, three thousand feet tops 15 to 25,000 feet. Eastern Scotland, northeast England, the far south of England, southeast England faring better. Three to 4,000 foot bases here, 15,000 foot tops, and just an occasional shower passing through. And it's going to feel so much colder through Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Now, on to Thursday, still got some showers around. However, they won't be as frequent and as heavy as they will be on Wednesday. Looks like it's Northern Ireland, probably Wales, parts of southwest England, northern and western Scotland that see most of them. Here, generally VFR but just marginal in those showers basis 3,000 feet tops 15 to 20,000 feet elsewhere 
generally it's fair yes some marginal conditions as the showers move through 3,000 foot bases 12 to 15,000 foot tops just watch this trough coming down the North Sea that could just run some cunims and some non VFR conditions down those eastern coasts during the afternoon just keep a careful watch for that but you see the high building in the west so that brings better conditions uh, during the afternoon on Thursday and leading into Friday for most of us Friday starts off fair could be an odd mispatch but that will clear quickly and then 4,000 foot bases 8 to 10,000 foot tops however warm front coming across Ireland and into Western Scotland brings non VFR conditions here and those spill eastwards through Scotland and maybe Northwest England through the course of Friday afternoon so a deteriorating situation there morning definitely looks best and then quickly for the weekend rain across um, Northwest Scotland, Northern and Western Ireland on Saturday. Probably non VFR conditions here. Windy as well. But for England and Wales, actually not bad. Although some drizzle may affect western parts of Wales and southwest England. So overall, not looking bad for Saturday. And then Sunday, a weak cold front moving its way southeast with some showers across northern and western Scotland. Possibly marginal here in those showers. But for most, I think even close to that cold front, it looks VFRable and not a bad flying day. OK, I'm out of time. Uh, have a fantastic flying week, whatever you're doing. Uh, again, just a reminder, two places left on my online aviation weather school part one course. Now, don't worry if you can't attend both sessions, you get a recording of each of the sessions. So you can always watch the recording uh, if you can't get to both. Uh, go to weatherschool.co.uk. Book your place now. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.